Hey, uh, it's Rock here. I'm in my uh, family room practicing on my putting. I have a stand out with a running curve. It's bent at an angle that's the same as the Y angle of my putter. So when I practice, I just keep the uh, heel of my putter on the learning curve. And it goes right in the hole. Okay, do that again. So this is about a 10 foot putt. And I find if I can make everything inside 10 feet, and I have a really good round. So get the heel, make sure it stays on the learning curve. Okay, goes in. So now what I want to show you is how I approach putting. So what I do is I, I get everything kind of centered up like this and there's three different strokes that I'll use. One is the pendulum stroke, which is back and through, back and through. The other stroke I use is a pure wrist stroke, which will be just all wrists. So it'll get, look something like this, back, through, back, through. Then the third stroke I use is a combination of those. So it's part pendulum, part wrist. So it looks like this. That's the stroke that I prefer, is the uh, part pendulum, part wrist. Nice thing about the uh, Stanley learning curve is you can experiment around with different strokes to see the effect. So here I'm going to use a wrist stroke. Now I'm going to try the uh, preferred stroke, which is part pendulum, part wrist. And that's what I use the majority of the time. So this is part pendulum, part wrist. Okay. Again, part pendulum, part wrist. strokes again the wrist stroke if you look at it from this angle the, the putter shaft will go on the back stroke it'll go this way and then on the, th on the fall through it'll go this way pendulum stroke the, the shaft will go this way and this way and the half uh, wrist half uh, pendulum the, the, the center of the shaft will move a little bit this way and then a little bit that way. So again, if you stay on the, uh, the learning curve, keep the heel, you can use any of those three strokes to make putts. And you know, really the nice thing about the learning curve that I've found is when, on a full swing what you do is when you come through, you, you, you release the club like this, so your wrist angle gets gets more. And uh, you know, because the putting stroke is so short, you 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 need to just stay right on this this uh, learning curve. If you try to release the putter like a normal sh shot, it'll go. You know, you'll see the heel come off the learning curve. So you'll change the angle and it'll, it'll you know, tend to miss left. So that's what I found. You know, you're, you're out on the course, you hit shots, you're, you're, you're releasing the club, and then you get on the putting green, and, and on the putting green you have to keep the uh, lie angle consistent during the whole stroke. So that's the uh, big difference, I, I think, 
between you know a full shot and a putt. Just you know on a putt, just get get this thing right on the learning curve and just stay right on it, and you'll make a lot of putts. Uh, thanks.